Hello, it's Robert Daly, and this is the Daily Woodworks YouTube channel. It's time for our 2018 shop tour. It is January 2nd, 2018, and I figure it's the beginning of the year. It's time for a shop tour. I've seen most guys actually did it in December of 2017, so end of the year shop tour. But I'm going to show you the start of the year, and then maybe at the end I'll show you the improvements I've made because I'm really going to transform this space next year. So let's get started. Now I'm trying to do an honest shop tour video. I literally just finished two projects. I've been working in this spot, which is my home shop for about two weeks now. So I'm trying to do it just as actually how I really work. The heart and soul of my shop is of course the trailer, which is my portable tool room and portable shop. Not a whole lot has happened to it in this last year. So I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of the trailer just so you can see it. See my son's artwork right here. Cords, plywood panel. If you don't have one of these, spend the five bucks on it. Meyer saw sits right here on the shelf, hold held in with a slip, no clamps, no bundies, anything. Holds perfect right there, never a problem. Charging station. Below that is my table saw storage. Hold the table saw upright. I installed this little cleat with the bar on the stand. Hooks right under that. It's so nice and firm. You can see I've been in and out of here quite a few times. It's a mess. Need to 3S the entire trailer. Um, my cubby system works great. I love this guy. Um, got everything labeled where it goes. So that way whenever I have a helper, friend, somebody's over helping me do something, they know exactly where everything is and where everything goes front of the trailer is the biggest mess right now. It's very disorganized, very cluttered. Um, I'm working on redoing all, all that. This cubby right here is for my shop vac. My ladders are the only thing, well, that and the microwave, are one of the only things bungeed in um, that holds them right here. Each one has its own little spot. I know I can make huge improvements. I have no idea where my canvases go. Right now they're just thrown right there. As we back out of the trailer, you can see my modular drawers and cabinets. Everything is held in now with these guys because when I built this, I used uh, free particle board church pews to make all the cabinets. And as you can imagine, bumping up and down the road, see a big notch knocked out right there. These things have just started disintegrating and the uh, uh, Polk style passive latches just didn't hold up through that repeated abuse. Everything's organized. Try to have everything labeled. This is just kind of my catch-all work area. And last cabinet, air compressor, and hose reels. Um, this system works great. It's right here at the edge of the trailer. And roll it out for the power cord. You can see I notched out part of the trailer right there where I can actually shut the lid without uh, clipping the cord. It puts a little bit of pressure on the cord, but not too much. Now let's go inside. So this is my office area, and you can see from the last tour video I did, um, I think in October, this whole wall wasn't here. This is actually getting turned into a craft room for my wife. This is just a small little pathway, pass-through door that's going to be here when we need it. The main exit is going to be a big 36-inch door outside. And this area is going to be my office space. I'm still thinking about how to best utilize this. It's about 100 square feet, about 10 by 10. Um, that I can, right now is storing all my lawn equipment, leftover Christmas stuff, um, furniture that doesn't have a place to go because this room isn't built yet. So a lot of work needs to happen in this office area. But I want to have a rolling office. Um, kind of, I'm thinking about actually ordering uh, Paul Aker's uh, lean desk that he has, the fast pipe and everything, and just putting it together. But I'll probably end up building my own, just put my own spin on it. And always have my tea nice and handy. 
One important thing in my shop is my trash cans. My rule is if it fits in the trash can, it goes in the trash can. And that's how I deal with scraps. Keep one over here by the, my, the table saw. So as cut pieces come out, they either go right here onto the total station for final processing, or they come to the trash can. Over here on this wall, you have my new lumber rack. I have a barn door that I just finished. It's ready for pickup, and I'm hoping to develop a better place for this to store, which is probably in the office area. Lumber rack, um, just using leftover Rubbermaid fast track, not fast track, but the Rubbermaid track shelving. I've got plywood storage right there. I actually got it up off the floor. See, I put a little piece of OSB on the ground just to hold it up off the ground because my concrete is very rough. And I was tearing up the edges of my sheet goods, um, dragging it around so the OSB allows it to slide. A great thing, no matter what shop you have, is your Steve Ramsey lumber storage cart. I actually need to go through and cull about half of that down, but it is a great cart to hold all of your stuff. Another trash can. And so as my little offcuts go there, they go in the trash can. So if I end up needing something, all my offcuts, all my scrap pieces are right here, including that. And dig through that a little bit if I want to, but when it's full, it goes to the dump. So we've got our total station, our lumber storage, and as you pivot around, I have a second post total station. It's actually the first one I've built. Um, I've been, it was a total station, but I converted it to the Polk workbench. And it got left out in the rain for about a year because where we lived before there was no shop at all and so I had to leave it outside and it just got rained on everything but luckily I used exterior grade plywood on it. Uh, I'm going to go back and rebuild this to make a nice little mobile shop cart in the near future as you continue to pivot. I did have a workbench right here where the um, Bosch table saw stand is at. My router is going to go on that. Um, my helper came over the other day and got his Christmas gift and while I was here he's helping me out with a few things and I had him go ahead and tear that out for me and I'm glad that's gone it's given me a lot more space office doors pivot it around it's cold right now so I actually covered up the hole I cut my shop for my fan um, that's actually an exhaust fan. I pull in fresh air, I have a fan right here um, to circulate air and that pulls exhaust air out and makes a huge difference. Um, but it is winter this week in Texas so I had to duct tape that closed and I got a heater for the shop and I cannot wait till next week when it's going to be back summer again and I can start wearing short sleeves again. Here is my outflow. This is a dog kennel I just finished. I hadn't attached the doors yet because this is actually calls to be painted. Um, I've got to work up my paint system and do something outside for that. And so the idea is that work flows in here and it either flows in from the truck or flows in right here, gets processed and then works its way around the shop in a U and then the outflow comes to right here. This area is my biggest lingering elephant in the room problem that I have right now. Um, it was just a rack that was built when we moved in. And my philosophy with things is if you wait for having everything perfect to get started on anything, you'll never get started. Uh, it's actually my favorite quote that's attributed to Mark Twain of the secret of getting ahead is getting started. Uh, another one of his is continual improvement is better than delayed perfection. So I got in here and I had to get to work. The same way I started my business is it was time to get to work. I make improvements as I go. And I get a lot done. The rack system is going to get torn out top to bottom and not be replaced. I might have some shelving on the wall, but um, if you follow lean principles and know about the eight waste, inventory is waste. So, I need to get where I don't need shelving, because shelving takes up space, and space is waste. So right now, I did the math, I'm losing about 50 square feet total out of that right now. That's a lot of real estate in a small shop. My shop is a little over 400 square feet. Back of the shop, I just have these messy shelves. 
Um, eventually they're gonna get torn down and replaced with my modular cabinet system. More shells right there, my attempt at a French cleat. I don't really like a French cleat system. It takes too long to make, it's too annoying, and they can just OSB on the walls and I can screw straight into you. My bandsaw, which I never use and needs some maintenance to it. This guy I actually have a video coming out on in the very near future. And this is my four foot by eight foot clamping board. Um, got the idea from Izzy Swan. I can clamp up to an eight foot long by 40 inch wide door, tabletop, whatever, no clamps. It's faster, easier, and better results. It is glorious. It's the greatest thing I've ever built. Um, and eventually, these are going to go, and it's going to have the whole wall dedicated to that. So thanks for walking through my shop with me. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them comments below. I try to answer every comment or every question. And be sure to check out my website, www.dailywoodworks.com. Um, there I have more articles, pictures of projects I've done. You can subscribe to the blog there, and I would sure appreciate it if you subscribed to this channel and liked and shared it with others because we have some great things coming in 2018. Have a great day, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.